For decades now, we've said high salt diets are bad for our health, but what is the real deal? Salt. So sinfully seductive and delicious, but those pesky doctors have been salty over sodium for centuries, claiming excessive salt intake causes high blood pressure and heart disease. But could the assault on salt be unsubstantiated? Alas, there's hope for you sinful snackers. There's new evidence that salt could save your life. So, which is it, docs? Should we slash the sodium or should we shake it like a salt shaker? We're about to have this salty debate with Doctor of Pharmacy James D. Nicolantonio, the author of The Salt Fix, and cardiologist Dr. Nasia Goldberg. Welcome to you both. All right, I, I'm going to acknowledge that this will be a bit of a debate. The reason this is important is this affects each and every one of you in the audience, all of us on stage, everyone watching at home. This is such an important topic. But James, to get this started, because you're really instigating this debate by, you wrote a book, The Salt Fix, and you basically say you can't get too much salt. Talk to us. Yeah, so if you look at the highest salt eating populations, Japan, South Korea, France, they all live the longest and they have the lowest rates of coronary heart disease mortality. And so in my book, I actually show that we're at a much greater risk of salt deficiency than salt excess because so many things cause us to lose salt. So if we consume just four cups of coffee, we lose over a full teaspoon of salt in the urine in just four hours. And yet every guideline tells us to consume less than a teaspoon of salt. So it just makes no sense. And so people are different. If you exercise a lot and you're being told by your doctor to cut your salt intake, that can lead to heat stroke, circulatory collapse, muscle muscle spasms, muscle fatigue. I mean, I've had patients come up to me saying that their heart palpitations no longer are occurring at, by upping their salt intake. But just to be clear, are you saying to every single person out there that you can't get too much salt? So we, salt intake is actually controlled by the body. So we know this because if animals are depleted of salt, they somehow know to go to a salt lick. So same thing happens in humans. Your body controls salt intake and we should be listening to those cravings because it's guiding you to better health. Humbly, you know who controls salt intake? The, the food manufacturers, because yeah. there's a lot of yeah. sodium and a lot yeah. of products. Now I'm glad we're talking about this because you raised some very valid points, but Dr. Goldberg obviously is a cardiologist. I have a feeling you're going to take an opposing view here. Well, the concept of the high salt diet that James is proposing, it's, it frightens me that it's, to have one of my patients follow that diet, that's scary because it could kill them. The populations that were studied in Japan and Korea, it's not just about their salt intake, they have a whole different lifestyle. They have a diet that's less in processed foods. The standard American diet is very high in processed foods. Mm -hmm. It's high in sodium, it's high in carbs, it's high in fat. So we can't just glamorize one mineral, we have to look at the whole body. In fact, you can, you can attribute about 57,000 deaths a year in our country to a high salt diet. If you actually look at Japan and South Korea, they're eating real foods and salting to taste, right? They eat salty kimchi and things like that. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it's not the salt that's the issue, it's the other white crystal sugar. And sugar can actually cause people to over-retain salt. So a lot of people can cut the sugar and fix their quote unquote, salt sensitive high blood pressure. But if you say eliminate processed foods for the most part, then you are effectively eliminating the bad sodium from your diet. <laughs> Right? I mean, it, to me, I, I think, I think wh where I'm confused a little bit is, are you saying that it's completely fine to take the salt shaker and just put as much salt as you want on your meals? Or are you saying that it actually doesn't matter at all how much sodium you get in your diet? So the brain actually controls its intake. So if you eat a lot of salt, you're gonna end up not eating a lot later on in the day. And so with sugar though, we don't have that type of uh, flipping aversion signal with salt. And so your body's gonna control the intake and your kidneys will just flush out whatever salt it doesn't need.